Hi guys, so today I'm going to share with you my April favorites. Um, so this is pretty hair related for the most part, but I have some good stuff that can apply to all hair types. Um, and then I have some, um, like two, no, I have one non-beauty favorite that um, I want to share with you that has been doing good things for me. So. I'm going to start with the more well-known products and move over into the less well-known products um, that I feel like deserve some more hype. Um, so first for the well-known, I don't know if I've announced it here yet, I am about to announce my favorite gel. It is Kinky Curly Curling Custard. Um, if you want, I will do a more in-depth review of this versus the Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic, but after using the product more I think that this product um, controls frizz better definitely the price difference um, this is a little bit more expensive for 16 ounces I think but versus Uncle Funky's daughter's 18 but you can only buy that from certain stores that you're probably gonna have to travel out of your way for if anything's even close or um, pay shipping directly to Uncle Funky's daughter or the official site because they don't sell through other vendors as far as I know um, anyway this is more readily available it's available at Target it smells better that one has like a slight lemony fragrance that's not very strong this smells like vanilla kind of like vanilla custardy kind of smell um, I love how this smells I think they're both good products but I think this is a little bit better because it controls frizz better and mostly because it controls frizz better and I feel like it clumps my curls better the Uncle Funky's daughter they can my curls can look kind of like stringy um, and people say that the Uncle Funky's daughter dries faster maybe that's something that I'll notice when my hair is longer right now my hair always takes like a few hours to dry no matter what I put in it no matter which gel it is that I use so this is all pros for me so I love this and this is my favorite gel and I also love it took me a while I didn't know if I liked this and I think it's doing better now that the climate's a little bit warmer I do love the Kinky Curly Not Today leave-in slash detangler I don't need a detangler right now. Literally, water detangles my hair. It's so short. Um, I know my hair is very prone to tingles when it's longer because I've transitioned in the past. But right now, it's not an issue because it's just too it's too short to even like really grab onto itself. But um, I really love the knot today because I didn't feel like it was moisturizing enough before. And in the winter, I feel like you might need something else to go with your gels. But in now that the humidity is coming up. Um, and the, the dew points aren't so low, it's not so dry in the air here in DC um, because you know spring is coming in, it's raining more, there's just more humidity, more moisture in the air. This is the only thing that I can put under my gels to increase the hold and increase the, um, the frizz control. Nothing else works like it that I found. So before I thought it was not drying, but it just didn't add moisture to my hair I felt, but now I'm like I don't really need all that. What I actually need is to control all that moisture that's in the air so that my hair doesn't frizz. And I have the these two products in my hair today. And today I actually recorded my TWA routine. So I recorded my wash and go routine. And that video will be up next. So you'll see these products in action on me. Next up, I have to talk about the Camilla Rose Naturals Curl Love Moisture Milk. I really, really love this product. This smells, like I've said before, exactly like Funfetti Cupcake Batter by like Pillsbury, um, which I love. Oh, it smells so good. And I mean, it's not just the smell, seriously. The ingredients are great, and it just like the first five are water, bentramonium methyl sulfate, and satirial, al satirial alcohol, um, avocado oil, rice bran oil, and aloe. So, yeah, and then ca castor oil. So, yeah. Um, I really like this product. It's very, 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 this is the most moisturizing leave-in that I have. Um, it's a little bit thick, and so, I have a bunch of makeup swatches on my hands, so please just ignore that. But yeah, this product's kind of thick, and so, I felt like it, you can't really tell, but I felt like it, um, weighed down my hair before, and so I think I'll like this product even more when I am able to do, like, twists and styles where I manipulate my hair. For wash and goes, this kind of like by the time I can rub it in because it's kind of thick I'm kind of rubbing out my curls because my curls get weighed down pretty easily so um, 
I think that this will do a little better for me when I'm able to manipulate my hair and do things to it. And then I won't have to worry about like my curl pattern being rubbed out because I'm twisting it or doing something else manipulating the curl anyway. But um, if you live in a dry place or, um, you know, this is I think a really good like winter product. Um, it might be a little heavy for summer, but I, I think this is a really good product. Oh, you know why I like this? Because... Um, I use a, a product, and I don't know if I'm going to say or not what the product was because I don't want to give it a bad name. It's an up-and-coming brand. And for other people, it works. For me, it did not work well, but I'm not going to say what the product is yet. Um, I haven't decided if I want to say or not. But I used this one product, and it really dried out my hair, and it was in the middle of the week, and I didn't have, I didn't feel like making the time to deep condition. And so I think I just like co-washed or I think maybe I used my um, As I Am Coconut Co-Wash and then just put this in. Because I was like, this is so thick and moisturizing, maybe it'll work. It made my hair feel like I had put in a deep conditioner. So that's, that's what I love this for. Like, I don't like it so much with my washing goes because it's so thick. I feel like it rubs out my curls. But if you are really in need of moisture, like I put it in at night, or you can even just like wet your hair at night. If you just put something that your hair didn't like, you know, rinse it out, wash it out, whatever, and then put this in and kind of just let it soak in and overnight. And then I woke up and I um, got back in the shower and styled my hair and it felt so much better. So that's what it was. That's what really made me respect this product. I have one more leave-in actually that I want to talk about. And this is um, the last like directly hair related this is the last like hair product. You'll know what I mean in a second. But anyway, this is kind of the last hair product and it is the Darcy's Botanical Sweet Cocoa Bean Curl Smoothing Cream. This smells like chocolate milk to me, which I love. And at first I was like, oh, I don't know if I like this product or not. Because like in the beginning I was always trying on different things and I wasn't washing things out of my hair before I would try the next thing and I just couldn't tell. But this actually is such a good product. I would say... I. I think I like this as much as Oyan Hairdo, and I really like Oyan Hairdo. I think maybe I like the smell of Oyan Hairdo a little bit more, but yeah, I think I pretty much like this as much as Oyan Hairdo. Like, I really, really like this product a lot. A lot, lot, lot. Um, the pumpkin seed conditioner is pretty good too. I think the smell, it smells a little spicy. It's a good smell, but I don't know, whatever. But by Darcy's, that one's good too. Um, the coconut and aloe moisture pudding, I really like. Although, I feel like that was like $12.99 for like a little 4 ounce jar. So, I don't know. But if you're going to buy a Darcy's leave-in product, um, value-wise and just how well it works, I would actually recommend, a lot of people like that pumpkin seed conditioner, but I really like the Sweet Cocoa Bean Curl Smoothing Cream. I really like this a lot. I use this a lot in April. Um, I haven't been using it so much lately because like I said nothing is controlling my frizz like the not today is but before it got um, when it was still drier this was working really really well for me for my moisture. Okay so before I move into the more like um, non-traditional beauty favorites I want to talk about silk. So I was watching a natural 85 video and shout out to her because I heard you know, that's why I learned that silk is supposedly the only fabric that does not take moisture out of your hair. Like, I had been buying the cheap satin bonnets and stuff. And then when she mentioned that, I was like, oh, maybe I'll get some silk scarves. But then I found out, like, they're really freaking expensive. Um, just because, like, you know, I don't know. I mean, silk comes from silkworms, I think. And so it's just not that easy to, to make. It's, it's just like a kind of a precious material, I think. So anyway... I got this scarf from headcovers.com and what I didn't like about it was as you can see you can almost see my face through it it's so sheer it's so sheer it's really pretty it's like this faded you know pink that fades into other pinks kind of thing really nice pattern but I just wasn't pleased with I wasn't really pleased with how thin it was. I also got it dry cleaned and it was like $5. Like this was $20 um, after shipping. It was like $16 and then like 4 for shipping. So the price was good but the value, I don't know because it's so thin. It doesn't seem like it would be very durable. Although I haven't really had any problems. It did also have a few runs in it and it came like that. And I don't know. So I got it dry cleaned, right? And then I was like, I want some more and I don't really want to buy them online because... I don't want this to happen again. I don't want more that are like so sheer. And I researched and researched and researched and nobody really had anything that sounded affordable enough for what I really wanted to spend. 
And finally, in the crevice of some forum, somebody mentioned that TJ Maxx often has silk scarves for cheap. So let me show you what I got. This really ugly one. First of all, I don't even like leopard. And then to put it with baby blue, like, what are you thinking? But this is so, like, more op much more opaque. It's 100% silk. Okay, so I got this one for, it's by Vince Camuto, whoever that is. But yeah, look, 100% silk. And I got it for, like, $15, okay, from TJ Maxx. Um, I also got... And I, oh, well, I'll get to that in a second. But I also got this one by Oscar de la Renta's like lower end line, I think. This is comparable for $30, but it cost me $15 from TJ Maxx. And this one's actually really cute. And then I treated myself to this really pretty Ralph Lauren one. This retails supposedly for $78. And I treated myself to this and it was $34.99. And it's pink and thick and it's just like super cute. And um, this one, I mean, I didn't have to get this one, but I think it's so beautiful. And I really went on a hunt for these scarves and I didn't want to pass it up. But yeah, I mean, the other ones were only $15 each. For 100% silk, that is a really good deal. So if you're interested in getting some silk scarves for yourself, I sleep with them now. I'm done with the satin bonnets. It's a better material. My hair feels more moisturized than it did when I was wearing the satin. So, um... Check out TJ Maxx for silk scarves. But don't tell it. Don't tell too many people because we want to watch ourselves. Okay, so um, I also wanted to share with you a quick tip. I machine wash these. So if you want to know how, because like I was like, I am not going to be spending $5 a pop like getting these dry cleaned. And so I looked it up and found a few tips. And I haven't washed the other two, but I washed this one. And it looks no worse for wear. It absolutely looks like the same as when I bought it. And if you get a steamer, you can even steam the wrinkles out. But since I only plan to use these on my head and I'm always going to be folding them anyway, I'm not planning to like get the wrinkles out. The other thing I got were these Havotai silk pillowcases from Amazon.com. And I got, and these are like the other ones, all like all my scarves say dry clean only, but I'm not doing that. And I found out dry cleaning isn't even dry. I don't know what I thought, but they use liquids. It just doesn't use water or something. I don't know. And actually, the chemicals can be really harsh, so whatever. But these ones were actually said to be machine washable, and I have washed my pillowcases in the machine. I got two of these, um, standard slash queen size for $35 on Amazon.com. And because at first I was going to try just sleeping on the pillowcases because they were such a better value and I found ones online that were machine washable. And then I just found I really don't like not sleeping with a scarf. I like my edges to be protected. I like um, the product in my hair to be like separated from what I'm going to be laying on so I don't break out. So even though I got these pillowcases, I decided to go ahead and still get the scarves. But these pillowcases... Um, are said to be really good for your skin too because I guess since silk doesn't take away moisture the way like cotton and other materials do um, you know moisture is a huge part in you know um, in in stopping premature aging or like the look of the premature aging the wrinkles that also that often comes from like being dehydrated from not having the moisture in your skin in in, in your skin so um, even though I sleep with the scarves I also sleep on a silk pillowcase now because I have them and I care about my skin too. So this is a Habitai silk pillowcases and I got them from Amazon.com. The last thing that I wanted to talk about was my Amazon Prime membership. I'm on a trial right now for Amazon Prime and you get two day shipping on so many items for free with no minimum order and you also get access to lots of shows. Um, on Amazon Prime, kind of like Hulu style. And my husband has a Kindle and he's getting to rent like one Kindle book per month, I think, for free from the Kindle Lending Library. And it's $78 a year, I think. It's just under $80 a year. Um, and we're definitely gonna be, when, when the trial runs out after a month, I'm gonna be signing up to keep that. Um, I've ordered so many things so far that I wanted but like couldn't find in person and stuff and that's been working out really well including this pillowcases um I think I got that after my prime membership started yeah so 
Yeah, my favorite is Amazon Prime, and I also got a Roku player. I got the Roku 3 player, and it's kind of like if you have like a Wii or a PS3 or any of those things, um, and you watch Netflix through it, Roku is specifically designed for you to do your streaming through, and a friend at work told me about it, but um, what I like about the Roku is ours is HD. Like, we had been watching things through the Wii, and we, we like caught up with Scandal on Netflix with... Um, the Roku player, I mean, on we, we caught up with Scandal on Netflix through the Wii, but it was all like in standard definition picture. And when we switched to watching the Roku, first of all, the Roku is so speedy, the rewinding is fast, and it's in HD, the one that we have is in HD, and yeah, so I think that's another favorite of mine this month. Like, I'm totally impressed with the Roku player, and it, you can watch Amazon Prime membership through it, you can watch Hulu through it, um, yeah, so the Roku player is working out really well too so i hope that you guys enjoyed oh i forgot i have one more favorite one more one more one more the accuweather app and i like this app because it's pretty descriptive but it's not obnoxiously descriptive it's like a happy medium it doesn't tell me like freaking doppler radar like whatever like it doesn't go too far into detail but it tells me all the things i want to know the temperature what it feels like um the humidity and more importantly the dew point because um dew points help me decide what I should put in my hair that day and it's really important um so yeah I really love the AccuWeather app mostly because it tells me um the dew point and if it's below 30 um I just try to use something with a little more moisture I definitely avoid um humectants like glycerin and I think I found out my hair doesn't like honey quat. So, yeah, and if it's above 60, you also want to avoid the humectants because I think there's, like, too much moisture going on. Between 30 and 60, you might be able to play around with humectants, but I generally avoid them pretty much all the time. But I think, like, also, if it's above 30, that's when my hair seems to like the not today or when it's, like, when there's more moisture in the air. Um, the knot today does really well with controlling frizz for me. And then if it goes too low, like if it's dry, really dry, um, I want to use something more moisturizing than this. So the AccuWeather app has really been helping out with my hair too. So I don't want to ramble much more. I hope that this was valuable information. I know I said a lot, so if you guys have any questions, just let me know. And yeah, my next video up will be my TWA routine, so stay tuned for that, guys. Um... Those are my April favorites. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye!